GQF Manufacturing out of Savannah, Georgia. This is the GQF Box Brooder. Going to be assembling this today as our new chickens are going to arrive some point today. I'll get a call from the post office saying that they've arrived and I'll go to the back door, show my ID and pick up the chicks. Uh, we've ordered 10 new pullets, five black astralorps and five buff Orpingtons to add to our flock. That'll give us a total of uh, 20 hens and there'll be a little bit of an overlap but our uh, first flock is two years old and it's about time to cull them out. Uh, so anyway, here's the brooder. We've got to get it set up pretty quickly because the chicks will be in it tonight. This was drop shipped from GQF, the eBay seller, Jet Quail, J-E-T-T-Q-U-A-I-L. I paid uh, $199.98 for the brooder, $49.99 for shipping. So if we just round it up, $250, top notch, a uh, great brooder and excited to get it put together. box put together, uh, plugged it in, the light bulbs seem to have come on, I can smell the thermostat heating up. Here's a look inside. It'll never be this clean again, that's for sure. We have adjustable trays on the outside, a thermostat in the back, a thermometer to record the temperature. Looking pretty nice. Just ought to do the trick. All in all, the assembly was pretty smooth. I made a couple of mistakes, reversed a panel or two, but uh, from my track record, that's to be expected. Here's a look from the side. The GQF box brooder put together, operational. All we need now are some chicks. Tell me what we have here. Baby chicks. What do you think of them? They're so cute, no? It's... We need... They're so hungry and thirsty. You love their water. They're glad they're water. They love their water. Well, here they are, the first night in the brooder. We ordered 10. One arrived DOA, so we have nine right now. One of the buff Orpingtons was dead when we opened the box. 
there was a big mix up and this can be one of the problems with ordering online the post office the postmaster actually is supposed to call a designated phone number as soon as the chicks arrive you go to the post office to the back entrance show your ID and they give you the the uh, the live chickens at that point well something happened and the postmaster didn't call and f instead the chickens rode around with our regular mail carrier all day and we uh, got home opened the door and there they were sitting on the front porch we have no idea how long they had been out with the carrier so definitely a stressful beginning for these birds and there's no way to know if that extra stress is what you know killed the one buff Orpington or not it's kind of to be expected that you know they won't all live but hopefully these nine will be strong and will do well they seem to be eating and drinking just fine so here they are about three days old four buff Orpingtons and five black Australorps Raising chickens is definitely a practical skill. A lot of fun for the family, a lot of fun to watch. Chickens are a little bit of work, a little bit of an expense, but it's a good project. For more about raising chickens, keeping bees, making jam, baking bread, be sure to visit Huff's Haven, huffshaven.com all about preserving freedom, family, and practical skills. Check out our site, visit our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter.